Adobe Acrobat Pro easily lets you convert web pages into PDF documents right from within the application. In order to do that, I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go into Create right here. And here you have an option called PDF from web page. So let me click on this and here you can directly add in uh, the web, uh, web page uh, address right here. You can also click on Browse and open up any web page that you may have uh, stored in your computer. But let me do this. Let me add in. Uh, everything that's within the web page itself. So I'm going to go for one level. That is, I just want to get the home page. I can also get the entire site if I want to. So I'm going to go over here into the URL. I'm going to type in SCTP colon and I'm going to enter a URL right there. It's a URL of an educational site. So I'm just going to uh, uh, import this into um, and set, set this into a PDF. So I can go to the settings right here to arrange out the options. So I, I can say the file tab is an HTML, which is the case. You can also create PDF tags right here. So I want to maybe turn on and over here, you can also choose the page layout. So let's say the page layout is going to be A4 size uh, and the orientation is going to be landscape, which is usually preferred way for web pages. So I'm just going to uh, press OK and there you go. So I want to in import the home page set first and now let's simply click on create. So once I do that, it imports out the web page. You can see that the page is downloading. So let me fast forward the video and now you here you can see that the home page is downloaded and it is the page has been converted as a PDF document. So now if I want to capture multiple pages, I, I can go over here into file, I can go to create, I'm going to go for PDF from web page and right here I'm going to click on this capture from multiple page level right here and then I want to get two levels for example or I can click on get entire site if I uh, want to go beyond any level. So I'm just going to get two levels to save time. I can also stay on the same path or now I want to stay on the same server. So if I don't want any, uh, let's say, uh, external links such as Facebook or uh, Google up there, I can click on stay on the same server. So I'm just going to click on this stay on the same path, let's say not necessary. So once I do that, I'm going to click create and it is going to download the file. So let me fast forward the video again. And over here, you can see that it has already downloaded 11 MB of data files. And if you were to see here, you can see that there's this first page, there's other pages right here and other pages. So it'll keep on downloading until it finishes up downloading all the second level pages right here. So you can easily have a PDF out of uh, the web page that you might have. So let's say if I'm uh, done, I can simply press stop right here. So if you want to continue on with it, you can simply continue on with everything else. So let me just press stop and it stops the process right here. But here you can see that all of the uh, web pages has been imported just like this according to how much has been downloaded. So you want to get and get going, you can do that as well. So that is how you can um, make PDF out of web pages by using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.